Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Today we are discussing one of the great Chopard model lines of the 2000s. This is the Chopard Pro 1 GMT. This Cadence limited edition of 1000 pieces from 2008 can be seen and purchased on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images for your desktop, and actually complete pricing details for this Chopard Pro 1 GMT Cadence limited edition of 1000. Now, Chopard built the Pro 1 family of manufacturer movement sports watches from approximately 2004 to about 2009, 2010. It was a short-lived but glorious venture that brought the traditional haute de gamme jeweler into the world, not just of manufacture movements, because that arrived in the 1990s, but manufacture movement sports watches taken on the likes of the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore family and Blancpain's 50 Fathoms. This is what a luxury sports watch looks like and feels like. And you can see on my wrist, 6 and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, it's a very wearable size. 42.5 millimeters across the round of the case, not including the crown guard or the crown. The watch is actually quite slim. Thanks to the micro rotor automatic inside, you can have a complicated automatic timepiece that's only 13.5 millimeters thick, and you'll note the generous slope to the bezel. This one easily slides underneath dress cuffs. So the watch, with a versatile combination of silver and black tones, can be worn with just about anything, a bathing suit or a business suit. Now the lugs are close cropped and tightly downturned, which means that it wears well on a smaller wrist. You'll see how it does wrap itself around the edge of my wrist, so even if you're borderline for it, I would say that the watch is going to wear well down to a wrist size of about 14 and a half centimeters in circumference. The watch is 51 millimeters, 51.5 to be exact from lug to lug, so it's not excessively broad across the wrist. In terms of security, you love to see that the watch features screws rather than spring bars binding this large and heavy case to the strap. It's the way, for instance, Audemars Piguet does it and Blancpain does it with the 50 Fathoms. Very secure, inspires confidence. It's paired with a ultra high quality, and you can see, I mean ultra high quality, extra thick bolstered, semi-gloss rectangular scale alligator leather strap, sheer sides, contrasting stitch, matched with a double deployant with twin trigger actuation. It's beautifully finished inside and out, and when buckled to the opposite side of the strap, ensures that the watch won't accidentally be dropped while donning it or removing it at bedside. Now the timepiece features a combination of differential polish and nuanced case details. You can see the modular appearance of the crown guards, which appear quite separate as a structure freestanding on the flank of the case, polish on the case flanks along the case band, and satin finish atop the lugs. Again, differential finish both on the case and the dial helps to define this watch and identify it as part of the upper stratum of luxury dive watches. Now it's a diving GMT and Chopard gives you abundant access to that information with huge blackened hand applied dart style indices in a diamond pattern and then outboard a sapphire capped 24 hour format GMT bezel. Now the GMT bezel is used in the fashion of the original Rolex GMT Master, the Pan Am watch, not the later dual time GMT Master 2, which is to say the 24 hour hand moves at half the speed of the local hour hand, but you can't set them independently. Instead, you use the 24 hour format GMT bezel to align with the GMT hand and then offset per the local GMT offset of whatever airport or locality you're flying into, and that's how you find the second time zone. This was one of the first watches to use a sapphire capped bezel, and the advantage to that is that you can have deep wells of luminescent material that aren't subject to water damage or abrasion. They're quite well protected, so the watch has a fantastic nighttime visage. Let me give you a sense of what this watch looks like in the dark. Loom shot, warning guys. As you can see, the watch is spectacular with the lights off. You can see the fusion style hands at center. You can see the advance of the seconds hand. You can even see the very small luminescent index at 12 o'clock to help you keep your bearings with respect to the dial, not just the bezel. And of course, the bezel, absolutely spectacular, justifying the use of the expensive and, again, quite rare sapphire cap atop the bezel structure itself. And now that you've seen the watch in the dark, Let there be light.
Now you'll note the dial is beautifully decorated. It features a matte silver beneath the hour track and beneath the minute hashes. Outboard there's a ray hot sloped down to the dial featuring the 60 seconds track for the seconds hand to trace. And then inboard the unique Chopard LUC Guilloche style sunray motif radiating out from the Chopard marquee at 12 o'clock. You'll note the watch is water resistant 300 meters. It is a certified Swiss chronometer. So the caliber 496H24 micro rotor automatic inside is a extremely accurate. It has a 65 hour power reserve thanks to stacked twin mainspring barrels and it does feature 29 joules, exceptionally finished upscale, the kind of premium engine you would expect of a high performance machine of this stature. Of course, everything about the watch conceived and built by Chopard, from the hacking or stop seconds to the quick set of the date, this is a refined, thoughtful, and feature-laden haute de gamme diving GMT. You can see and you can purchase this landmark watch on our website.